seen this before. This is what's uh, causing an uproar within the Asian American community. It has gone viral. Let us watch this. The problem is these hordes of Asian people that UCLA accepts into our school every single year, which is fine. But if you're going to come to UCLA, then use American manners. I'll be like deep into my studying, into my political science, over here from somewhere. Oh, Jing Chong Ling Long Ting Chong. This has obviously uh, offended a lot of Asian Americans. Jeffrey Mio is here to talk to us about that and more today on the show. Jeffrey is the president of MANA, Media Action Network for Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to Cabo Bay in LA. Thank you. Thank First, you for the invitation. Please let us know your thoughts on what we just saw. Yeah, I, this is one of those instances where um, people really confuse a lot of Asians and they, they have kind of if they see one group, um, they generalize it to all Asian groups. And the other thing is, is that I've seen a lot of people talking on cell phones, mm -hmm. but um, not just Asian Americans. Yeah, not just yeah. Asian Americans. Yeah. And um, there's something in psychology. I, I'm also a psychology professor, as you know. And there's something in psychology that we call the ultimate attribution error, mm -hmm. which means that if one person from one group does something, then it's generalized to everybody in that group. It's not only that. I think there is the undertone of uh, hate that's being propagated by this YouTube rant, which brings me and tries to connect it to something that I accidentally said um, because of, uh, I didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. um, a few weeks ago, I referred to the word, I use the word chink. And I'm, I, I want to express um, apology for those people who have been offended. But also at the same time, I'm coming from a different background. I grew up in the Philippines where people actually use Chinky for pet names. I have, a, I have friends whose names are Chinky. I grew mm -hmm. up being referred to as Chinky-eyed or Chinky in the Philippines too because it's sort of like a status symbol also in the Philippines that you're half Filipino and half Chinese. Can you tell us the difference? Can you tell us why this is very offensive? Right. Well, and, and as we were talking uh, before the program, uh, you were telling me that in the Filipino context that uh, it is not seen as offensive. And I think your, your program is an ideal program to maybe educate some people who uh, come from a Filipino context and don't know that in the United States, the word chink really is chink or chinky um, is considered to be offensive and even equivalent to the N word. Right. Uh, Do you discriminate though the fa the context? Like um, uh, obviously there are instances where it's being used to really put the person down, and then there are instances like when we use it not knowing any better because we're from a different culture in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. You know, just as a word to describe somebody. Well, I think quite often what happens is, is that groups tend to take on offensive names and almost wear it as a badge. And so, like, for example, the, uh, the equivalent in the United States for African Americans is the N-word. Mm -hmm. And a lot of African Americans use the N-word among themselves, but they don't like other people using it. And similarly, I, I think maybe uh, some people of Chinese descent may use uh, the word chink or chinky uh, between themselves. But, you know, it's probably not good to use it in a more public context. Right. And speaking of public context, you know, the media, there is Asian media and then there's mainstream media. And some of these people that are, um, you know, uh, circulating or running around in the mainstream media are also um, saying some offensive things uh, to the Asian American community. Uh, proof of this are the recent uh, tweets that we have on screen right now. Um, I just fed up with my girlfriend, but like the Japanese say, there'll be another one floating by any minute now. Also, Japan is really advanced. They don't go to the beach. The beach comes to them. Very offensive, uh, Jeffrey. What are your thoughts on this? And I guess this brings us to our, to our ultimate question, which is how do we educate the people out there, mm -hmm. you know, about Asian Americans in general? Right. Well, you know, one of the things is, is that with the new media, with uh, YouTube and with um, tweets and, and other types of e emails, um, what used to be private con uh, conversations are now public conversations. And people need to understand the context within it, 
uh, they say things. And like you and I could be talking or something like that, and maybe I would say something that would be offensive to you or something mm -hmm. and not really realize it. And you could come to me and say, well, you know, that, that really was kind of it offensive. It upset me, right. 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 And, and I, I could apologize immediately and you could feel better. Well, if, if this is um, done publicly, then other people out there may not hear my apology to you or whatever, and so then um, uh, whatever we do in the new media does seem to be a lot more public, and so we really need to watch ourselves. And uh, that is where I think MANA comes in, right, as an organization. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what you do? Right, yeah, uh, MANA, the Media Action Network for Asian Americans, um, and people could find it on the web at mana.org. Um, M-A-N-A-A -A dot O-R-G. <laughs> okay. It's on the screen. Right, okay. And so then uh, people could find it. And, and we do things like we monitor the media just and, and have other people call in because we have a hotline and we have um, uh, an email that people could um, uh, present to things. And so if they, they see something or they hear something in the media that is offensive, um, or that is laudatory, because we like to praise people who are doing things well, too. Mm -hmm. um, but um, we would like to uh, demonstrate, and, and on the screen I see that that was our protest on um, the, last the last airbender, and this is the protest on the goods, um, where, you know, people um, need to know um, how they are offending people. Right. And, and, like, for example, um, the word chink uh -huh. is, is offensive. Right. And a lot of times people don't um, make a distinction among Asian Americans. Like, I noticed that the, the woman on right. the YouTube ramp. It, Asians is, in general term, not really discriminating between Chinese, right. Koreans, and Japanese. But, Jeffrey, okay, um, we should definitely have a longer conversation about this. For now, we're running out of time. But just to clear the air, for people uh, to describe somebody um, in, in exchange for that word, I know that I have been taught or educated just recently that the proper term is Almond-shaped eyes. Almond-shaped eyes or, or Asian eyes. Asian I mean, you know, people eyes. understand what that means. And we are going to use that from now on here on Cabo Bay in LA. Thank you so much for calling our attention to this very important issue. And like I said, we'll have you back next time. Okay. More power to you. Thank you for what you do. We will be back for more on Cabo Bay in LA. Don't go away. Kababay in LA, ahatid sa inyo ng McDonald's at ang mga bagong McCafe Espresso drinks. McDonald's na ba ang